Welcome back to A Wish No One Remembers. I remember, like, how I should remember how not to do anything, but I don't do it anyways. Uh, either way, we're gonna keep on going. And here, I actually believed I was not like the others. That I had values, and I wouldn't act against them. But look at me now. I'm in a love with Laura, or so I think. Then why is Sarah on my mind all of the all of a sudden? And why will I let Allison seduce me? Because reasons? Oh weak. I couldn't see myself with anyone else. I wanted to believe my love was unbreakable, unspeakable. I actually thought I was different. But it was because it was so difficult when she started pushing me away. Uh, yeah. That's how pain works. <laughs> I was about to go with an entirely different voice, going, I love your best friend, kind of thing. I love your best friend. Could you just leave me alone for once? No. This guy chooses not to. <laughs> If that's the reason why I tried to organize that date to make it clear to, for myself that it was okay for me to forget about Laura. Wait, true? Oh fucking no! I don't know your emotions, bro. I'm over here literally minding my own business, playing with freaking Hot Wheels and Legos. What do you expect? <laughs> Personally, Legos is that only toy that a lot of people still agree is still pretty good. Because <laughs> you can make up any fucking story you want. Prove me wrong. <laughs> Why didn't I try to organize it in the first place? Now that I think about it, I have not a single clue. Nor do I, and I think I forgot about it. I tried to make me believe that it was for Laura, but what if it wasn't? What if it was actually for me? I don't know, and I also don't want to know. And I do not need to know. I choose to say no! She actually has got a good reason to be angry as I move my mic closer to me. Don't judge. Now we're in the classroom. Next day, Friday, I went to school as usual. Everything was peaceful during the morning. I didn't bump into Laura. Or Allison, so I guess that's not that I didn't want to see them. I simply thought that if I could avoid their gaze for one day, then maybe I would be able to live with myself for a bit without feeling utter like utter shit. No, that's me normally. Stay away from people. It does fine. <laughs> That moment uh, didn't last for very long. Ten minutes or so before the start of the afternoon class, Dan and I were sat at our desks, talking about nothing in particular, waiting for our math teacher to grace us with his presence. I guess they were talking about boobs. I approve. <laughs> Now they might be talking about butts and boobs, seeing which one's better. Both are good. 
Don't ask why. That's when it happened. This one of my classmates walked up to me and said, Yo, what? I think uh, that's your girl waiting outside the classroom. Should you go check up on it? Oh, fuck. The <laughs> moment you realize, oh, fuck, I'm screwed. <laughs> Look behind him and notice by the classroom's door that Laura is standing still, looking my way with a somewhat strict appearance. I'm going to die. <laughs> I stand up and my heart skipping a beat as it usually does when dealing with her. And thank Chris for his sharp observation. Kinda happy he thinks that Laura's my girl. After all, but the moment she sees me, stands up. Laura sends me to that be that she's actually not for me here for me. Yep, she's after this loser <laughs> that I need to insult. What? I instantly, I instantly, I instantly perplexed. I have her a hard time to understand that the, the meaning of behind her gaze. Gestures as I'm about to walk up to her in order to determine the reason behind her overly familiar behavior. Her index finger is drawn forward and is directly towards Dan. Yo, she wants to. <laughs> Sit back down as if being coldly pulled by this irritating thing called reality. Oh, I live like that all the time. It's called I stay away from the outside world. Even though that I need to go back into society. God. <laughs> the one thing I know I don't want to do, but I know I need to do. <laughs> right. That's right. This is obviously normal. Obsessively normal. How could I not think of this before? Why would she go out of her way to come see me? The eyesore she wants to see is the man she loves. I just told him, yo, she wants you. <laughs> you just give you the answer as he just teleports it. <laughs> On the other side of me, it's going, yo, what you tagging about? And quickly notices what's going on and takes a side long glance at his eyes are questionably questioning me, asking if it is, if it's really, if it's really what I want. I nod and no one in particular. And he walks to her nonchalantly. Out of the classroom without a word, and he soon follows suit. My chance! Jump out the closest window! <laughs> this is harder than I thought it would be. All sorts of emotions surge from within my heart, my brain, and my guts. Jealousy. Uh, irresponsibility and insecurity. I try desperately to keep my feelings in check. Lord Dan comes back. This isn't his fault, and even if they decide that they are to be together, I obviously have no say in this. Now I know why. Don't mind, this is uh, the only statement I can use and failing up words. Fabricate and repeat in my mind. Terribly mind. In my terrible mind. 
as I up not anxiously wait for his return. Yes, he's like, yo, uh, what's going that? <laughs> After five awfully long minutes, Dan comes back and sits in front of me. Oh, uh, how did it go? Please tell me a funny answer. <laughs> That's all I want. <laughs> I make a lighthearted smile, trying to convey to him this, this statement. I've told myself so many times. He carefully puts his hand onto it, onto my hand. No, onto his tightly curled fist, and tells me in a low voice, "Calm down, man. There's no reason to worry like that." I have your back, you know that. <laughs> that concerns me. And I like it. <laughs> With those simple words, I realize how overwhelmed I am by the situation. I relax the joints in my stiff body and cool the, irrita the irrational thoughts in my mind. I take one deep breath and return my eyes to him. And he answers with, I totally dumped him. Good for you, bro. <laughs> God damn it. Alright, sorry, thank you. And looks at me slightly. With a straight face, I know what he's trying to say. I, but I've been long since past that point now. What does she want? She wanted money! <laughs> I saw her expression comes to his face. I can't believe I let you drag me into this. This nightmare. Couldn't you guys work things out on your own for once? Like, holy hell. Just look at me. The lovable asshole. <laughs> understand. Ah, forget it. Anyway, she asked me out on a date. Your date, too. Be precious. <laughs> and to be precise. I mean tomorrow's date. But I already told her we were invited, so why did she... Don't know. She probably wanted to be the one taking the initiative. Uh, that fits her image at uh, the very least. A sense of disturbance in the force. <laughs> right, I remember what Jan told me yesterday. That she's probably the kind of girl who hates it when people muddle with her love life. And it seems she was right. In that sense, maybe does understand her better than I do. Then you're asking me, I don't want to die, so I'll make lighthearted jokes about this. Excuse me. I make good friends. <laughs> I'm surprised that fucking works. What did you tell her? I accepted. What else? I already said I was coming, didn't I? She, she looked like. Did she look? I didn't know. Happy. That's that sentence. Hi, right, man. Well, that's that's as far as I'm willing to talk about this. I don't understand nearly enough about the situation to share any kind of information yet. For Pete's sakes, I don't even know her. <laughs> what I know is that she exists. You're dealing with me as a freaking host. What do you expect? I want to interject. I don't understand. A word of what he's say, saying. And obviously, if there is something wrong, I want to know about it. But the teacher appears at the worst possible moment. We'll talk later. 
Don't kill anyone, you damn idiot. Fuck. <laughs> so, with a frown. Hey, my dear brother, fuck you! What's his deal? Did he just say he had my back? Oh, then why am I ending this episode here? But from here, hopefully you guys have a great, wonderful time. Hopefully. And I'll come back next episode to freaking uh, figure out what the fuck's gonna happen next. So, hopefully you guys have a great, wonderful time. A great day, too. So, see you guys next time!